Hello, and welcome to this video on Pegasus for Engineering. I'd like to show you the process for solving a skeleton to rigid bodies from Vicon Tracker using Pegasus. First make sure Tracker is running with rigid bodies defined and named correctly. To connect Pegasus to Tracker, check the server settings, specifically that ZUP is checked, which is typically YUP by default, that the IP number or server name is entered, and the correct port is specified. You can press ping server to check that the connection is successful. This button imports the rigid bodies from Tracker into Pegasus. Once the rigid bodies are present in the viewport, the individual rigid bodies need to be grouped according to character. The individual rigid bodies can be seen in the outliner. Select all the rigid bodies belonging to the group. By holding down control, you can add to the selection. It is worth checking that all rigid bodies are present in Tracker before continuing. With all of the rigid bodies selected, they can be grouped from the edit menu. A name needs to be specified in the dialog. And now all of the rigid bodies are grouped together under the character group named Tracker. You can see in the viewport that there are two other rigid bodies. In this example, these are rigid bodies that have been defined in Tracker but aren't present. And one of the rigid bodies is attached to a prop. A group of one rigid body should be created for the prop. The remaining rigid bodies can be deleted as they are not going to be used. Tracking data is now prepared. Now an avatar can be imported to solve to. For this example, a standard Jack avatar will be used. To associate this avatar to the rigid bodies, a bone in the avatar first needs to be selected. Then, using Control, add to the selection a rigid body from the source data. Running scale and move target to rigid bodies matches the avatar's size and position to the rigid bodies. This match pose can be improved or adjusted as needed. It's best to start by getting the general position and orientation correct. You can do this by adjusting the group node. Once the group node is mostly correct, you can adjust individual bones on the avatar by using the rotation manipulator. Once the poses have been matched, it's time to begin creating associations between the rigid bodies and individual body segments on the avatar. To do this, first select a rigid body, control select a bone, and then press this button to create an ikinema constraint to drive the avatar's body segment using rigid body data. This needs to be done for the hands, arms, the head, the chest, or the neck. the hips, and the legs and feet. Once this is done, uh, the setup is now ready and it can be tested at any time by pressing the play button. Uh, tracker needs to be playing. Tracker is currently playing at one tenth of real time. If you track forwards in Tracker, you'll be able to see the rigid bodies driving the avatar.
testing the avatar shows that some tuning is needed. For example, the clavicles could be adjusted to be stiffer in the solve. First stop the animation. Select the clavicle bone in the avatar. Go to the joints attribute window. And select stiff preset. This can also be manually defined by entering values into the stiffness field. This adjustment is necessary for the clavicles because there aren't any rigid bodies to drive them. Pressing play again and the clavicle solve looks correct. This completes the process for solving from rigid bodies in Pegasus. To solve to a prop, it's a similar process but will be covered more in depth in a different video. To solve to a different avatar from rigid bodies, the scene first needs to be cleared. Then tracker should be set to a T-pose. The T-pose is useful as a match pose. We need to reselect the rigid bodies and group them again and then import a new avatar, this time Romeo.fbx. To associate the avatar to rigid bodies, select a bone, then the rigid body from the tracking data. And the associate process, scale and move rigid bodies to target should be run. This moves the rigid bodies and scales them to match the avatar. The avatar's match can be manually adjusted by first moving the group, or orientating if needed. Once this is done, rigid bodies need to be associated to the bones in the avatar. This is done by first selecting a rigid body, control selecting a bone in the avatar, create link bone to task button. This needs to be done for the arms, hands, head, chest, hips, legs and feet. As there aren't rigid bodies to drive the shoulders, the clavicle stiffness needs to be increased again. Playing the data on tracker while Pegasus is in play mode will animate our avatar. Further tuning might be needed as the clavicles look a little bit too stiff. Something like 0.8 should give more movement. In the view menu we can turn off the skeleton and the constraint tasks to better evaluate how the avatar is moving. This solve is looking quite good and an accurate representation of how the rigid bodies are moving. And this completes the setup for driving an avatar using rigid bodies in Pegasus from Tracker. Thank you for watching.